Was that Q's? Q's right back up. Oh, I might be taking Q's. I switched over to Q's just because Q's is closer. But I can switch over at any minute. I'm all over. Yeah. This could move, especially after high day. And it's zero DT, so on the ship's move. Broke. Got in that. Contracts moving. 30 cent move. Like that. Start taking some profits. So far, contracts move like 7%. Cause like bro, once we got the new high and then that 460, I was like, we'll get a little scalp here. Nothing crazy. Don't expect anything crazy on this though. But we about to get another high, new high. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right in the 40s, 50s. Oh my gosh, bring it to us, baby. Oh my gosh, yes, 14%. Oh my gosh, 20% now. Give it to us. Keep it going. Remember, I'm like 80% out. Let's take like a little bit more off here. Okay. Oh my gosh, new high incoming. <laughs> All right, we had a 80 cent move. We're probably gonna have to pull back into this break even point. So I'm about 80% out right now, give or take. Perfect trade. The video is going as well. I knew that 460 wanted to move if we broke that high a day. <sighs> like what I said, a little pullback here. Make sure you guys manage it well already. Great spot, we already took some profits off. Now we just wait. I wanna see if we get 461, that's like the ultimate goal. Oh my gosh, red to green, new high day incoming. I'm gonna sell more once we do. Day by two cents. This is gonna have to come back down. The video is flying, but there's a reason why I'm already 80% out. Oh my gosh, red to green again. Oh, new high, and taking some more off right there just because we are starting to hold that 80s a little bit too much. But this could easily go to 461. Uh, probability is probability. Just because you have a 90% probability going up, we can still have a 10% going down. So, but this definitely is starting to get a little weak up here. It's going to have to pull back a little bit. I am 90% out now. Stop loss to break even on these contracts. get out all right um all right as you guys saw we made about 15 percent, 17 percent on that um my last buy was a little bit too late so the percentage was supposed to be a little bit higher on that trade but it's all right we still made a decent amount managed it very well and we're gonna go right into the recap of qqq why do we take this why did i like it why did i sell where i sold now you guys probably figure out where I sold at on the live trading video because it was slowing down, but I'm gonna break it into the technicals as to why I entered. Now, you guys see we had this nice downside move yesterday and we started to hold up today. Could go either way, right? Now, this could easily want a pullback and that is exactly what I was looking for when I wanted to take it above that 460. If it broke 460, then we could see that pullback but it could have easily rejected that and came right back down and continued a downside move. But 460, we saw that it reacted yesterday as well, right at that 460 area, we came down and bounced 
all the way back up about two and a half dollar move from that 460. Now it wasn't exactly 460, but it was a general range in that area. Now coming on to today, you guys can see that after hours kind of rejected that, kind of balanced that pre-market. We kind of held up in that area of that 460. Now it's not exactly 460, but that is the psychological level that we are looking at. So I'm not going to take it exactly at 459.8. I want to see that psycholo psychological level at 460 just because that could stop the entire trade. Now, my first ad was right at that 459.80 90s because that was that previous high day. And with enough momentum, we saw on that candle buyers coming in. I decided to anticipate that just because there was a lot more buyers and sellers. We're coming up to this high day. I entered there, then it broke 460. I was trying to enter right at that 460 mark, but I think it entered like 10 cents later. So it's all right though. It just like messes up your stop loss and your profits, but it's all right. You guys can see that buyers came up, rejected that 460, which made us like this even more. Then it came down and kind of held right above that previous low a day. Now this right here, right around that 459 area, showing us that buyers are starting to come a little bit more than these sellers in this area as we start to come up. We came up to 460, we broke right into the 40s. We kind of hesitated a little bit at that 40s, but very strong candle. I was seeing if we're gonna have like a little pullback and then a continuation. We went red to green. Once we made that new high, that's when I started taking some off right there. And as you guys can see, you know, we're starting to wick a little bit at that 80s point. We're starting to hold that area. Then when we went green, red, and then kind of just stayed right there. That's how I know we were starting to get a little bit weak here and we needed some sort of pullback. Then we went green again, and this is where I took off another majority of my position. And now it's 90% out, waiting for break even just because right here shows us that these buyers are starting to slow down, not losing control. But sellers do want to take it down to pull back, and I'm not trying to be a part of all that. And as soon as we started coming down, I was fully out. If you guys like these trade recaps, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.